It's all right, man. You'll get the next guy. Oh, no. Is he going to take me out? Nah, you're good. Probably just a pep talk. Always helps. The guy's been around the game his whole life. Hey, Skip. Uh, don't worry about that, rookie. You'll bounce back. Say, I ever tell you the story about Scuggs Walker? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. It's a good one. Old Scuggs, he had the best arm I ever seen, and he never made it to the majors. I saw him pitch two no-hitters on back-to-back -back nights, broke a catcher's hand with his fastball. One time I saw him fit seven whole baseballs in his mouth. What? 1951, on a bus to Fayetteville. It was something else. Old Skugsy was a legend. OK. Cool. Thank you, Skip. And that's not all. He'd go on and do it again after an extra inning win in Little Rock. He put one baseball in his mouth, and then Roger Maris, he was with the team back then. He said, hey, Skugsy. What you doing? Love this part. But he didn't say nothing. He just put six more baseballs in there. Never seen anything like it. Cool, but we still got runners on first and third with nobody out, so. Let me tell you something else about Skuggs. Back in 1956, he was pitching against the Savannah Red Legs. He hit two batters in a row in the face, both of them. He walks the next guy. It gives up a grand slam. Even studs like Skuggs have their off nights. OK, so what did he do? He went back in the dugout and put seven baseballs in his mouth. Why? Everyone was hooting and hollering. Put another one in, Skuggsy. The coach put him back out there in the next inning. And this time, he hit three guys in the face. That's horrible. So. What I'm trying to tell you is this old pitcher named Skuggs Walker could fit seven whole baseballs in his mouth. No, I got that. That I, Loud and clear, really. Ooh, is this a Skuggs Walker story? Did he get to the part where he could fit seven whole baseballs in his mouth? That's the only part. Skip, do you have any other stories? You know, something inspirational or relevant? Maybe something about another player? Oh, I got lots of stories. There was a time I saw Jim Palmer stuff seven baseballs into Skuggs Walker's mouth. Or the fifth game of the 55 World Series, which I didn't see because I was busy helping a friend of mine get baseballs out of his mouth with a wrench. Incredible. No, it's not. Look, thank you. But what I really need is some advice. Oh, advice, huh? Well. Let me leave you with this. Sandy Koufax gave me the best advice I ever got in my whole career when he said, you better check on Skuggs. I think he's dead. You know what? Sandy was right on the money. No. Good luck out there, boys. I've never seen anything like it before. Seven whole balls of his face. Also, I'm taking you out of the game. Damn it. Hey, buddy. Who was that?